Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School for Ashland Legion Baseball as they take on Lowell in this Zone 5 championship matchup. Ashland just has to win this game here tonight to advance on to the states. Lowell would need to win tonight and tomorrow. It is a two-loss elimination tournament. Post 77 is 2-0. and oh. In the playoffs, Lowell just got through, taking down Natick in what was a suspended game. It was 2-1 to one heading into the bottom of the fifth, and Lowell was able to close it out by that total and advance on to the championship round of the Zone 5 playoffs, where they will meet Ashland Post 77 on the hill today. Is Dom Kavanaugh for Post 77? He has pitched very well this season. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call, Connor Donovan on camera. You are tuned in, Ashland Legion Baseball, neither HCAM in Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, or HCAT in Holliston. Let's get you the Lowell lineup. Starting things off for Lowell Post 87 is the center fielder, Edgar Velasquez. The first baseman, Thomas Hassett, batting second. Ray Velasquez, the shortstop hitting third, Zach Gishier. The left fielder hitting cleanup. The DH, Kyle DeRoma hitting fifth. Tyler Hoey, the third baseman, hitting sixth. John Donovan, the catcher, hitting seventh. John Mercury, the right fielder, hitting eighth. Luke Silva, the second baseman, hitting ninth. With the post-77 defense, here is Larry Sackla. Alex Amalfi playing third base. Jackson Horning at shortstop. Cole Glassburn at second base. Drew Rancatori at first base, left to right. Sam Farrell, Brandon Grover, Nick Calabrese. Behind the plate today is Sean Jewett catching Dominique Cavanaugh. And there you have it, the post-77 defense, and we are ready to get this game underway. Temperatures certainly a whole lot different from this past weekend. Temperatures in the low 70s here at Hopkinton High School. And it is a whole lot cooler than it was over the weekend for sure. This game moved to Hopkinton High School from Natick due to the rough field conditions over at Mahan Field in Natick due to the crazy amounts of rain we had over the past couple of days, some big storms moving through. So we moved it over to the Hopkinton High School turf and we are underway here in the Zone 5 Championship. There's a strike to Edgar Velasquez. Yeah, I hope Dominic uh, continues where he left off, uh, beating Hudson in that 17-3 game. Wind up and the pitch. That one just low, one and one. Let's take a look at the stats for Dom Kavanaugh on the hill this season. He's pitched 17 and a third of an inning, a 161 ERA. And he has three wins, no losses, as that pitch is in there for ball two, two and one. Edgar Velasquez has been a bit of a pest for post 77 the last Every couple year, of years. Yeah. Yep. He went one for two and the last game that Ashland played on Sunday, it was a 3-2 victory over Lowell. Velasquez also scored a run in that game in the first inning, and he drove in a run. That was the go-ahead run at the time in the fifth inning. Post 77 struck back in the bottom of the sixth with two runs of their own to take a 3-2 lead and never looked back. Alex Amalfi got one of the outs in the seventh, and then Cole Glassburn struck out the last two hitters to end the game. This is up the middle, gloved by the second baseman, throw over to first, no problem. Four to three goes Velasquez. Thomas Hassett will step in. He's trouble. He certainly is. He's a, lot a good of power. hitter. Good yeah. hitter. He went one for three on Sunday. Yep. Had, an, had a uh, single and was tagged out on a fielder's choice trying to score. Uh, I think the only maybe slight advantage that Ashland has is all these players have played on this field before. Swing and a miss. Between Holliston and Ashland had a night game, you told me, that right. I forgot about. Yep. Two Ho Hopkinton boys played here all year long. Yeah, we were at that game. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the left side. That'll trickle in a left field, a one-out single. That'll bring up Ray Velasquez, the shortstop. Well, this little team, they can certainly hit. Yep. Watch the uh, holes between short and third and second and first. They're awful quick, and the ball does get to the gaps in the fence in left and right field. So the outfielders are going to cut the ball and take a good angle on them. 
Well, they rolled out of the wall. Wind up in the pitch. Just low. So the winner of the Zone 5 playoffs goes on to the States, and they will play at 10 a.m. on Saturday at Fino Field in Milford against Shrewsbury, the Zone 4 champions. This is hit in the air over to right center. That'll get down. Lead runner heading over to third. Are they going to try to wave him around? No, they won't. It's runners on the corners with one out. Brandon Grover showing off his gun. Cut that ball off in right center field. Through to the uh, first baseman, Drew Rancatori, who cut the ball off. No Zach, advance. Zach Gishier, the left fielder, will step in. He's also been pretty good on the mound for Lowell this season. Look for Velasquez to maybe take off. Wind up in the pitch. Down low. Post 77 trying to get some revenge on Lowell from last year, or Lowell ended up taking out Ashland in the Zone 5 championship. Lowell won two straight games to get the job done. That was after Ashland had the upper hand as they do this year. Two and O oh is the count now. What was it? Uh, Ashland won the first one, Lowell the second, then Lowell the third last year? Well, Ashland was 2 and 0 oh, heading in to the championship round. They had that day off as they did this year. And Lowell had to play that elimination game to get to the championship round. And Lowell won both games of the championship round. Lined up and the pitch. There's a strike. 2 and 1. Dom Kavanaugh blessed with that two seam fastball. There's a strike. It's a balk. Oh boy. Maybe he didn't come to the set. Well, a run's going to score here on the balk. Rare, rare mistake by Kavanaugh. 1 0 Lowell. Hit high in the air, foul. Probably not the way Post 77 wanted to get going. Certainly not. And Lowell has their ace going today, Kyle Draper. They're, he is on a bit of a pitch count. He threw 33 pitches today against Natick, and that does factor in. They got the runner picked off, throw over to second, now to third, not in time. Stolen base for Ray Velasquez. A little bit too late covering second base, Jackson Horning was. Right play, though. Well, Lowell trying to strike early and often. Post 77 trying to give Lowell a little bit of dose of their own medicine. They Tyler Hoey pulled that play off against the post 77 in the previous matchup to get Cole Glassburn off second base. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. So if Lowell wins here today, they'll be back at Mahan Field tomorrow night. And that will be an elimination game. The winner of that game will move on to the States. It will be there, though. Certainly will. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully uh, <laughs> things well, go if, well for if, Ashland. Well, if there's an if, we'll be there. <laughs> That's right. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught. Runner from third going to tag, and he will score pretty easily. 2-0 Lowell. A sacrifice flyout for Gishier. Ray Velasquez comes around to score. Now Kyle DeRoma, the DH, will step in. That's certainly not what you want if you're post 77. Two hard hit balls, balk. Not the way you want to get going. Strike one. Down low. Well, that little dugout making a whole lot of noise as usual. I was going to ask you. There's the 1-1. One, one. 
Up the middle, past the dive of Glassburn, and it's a two-out single for Daroma. That's why I don't like turf. I've said it all year long. Turf's fast. Tyler Hoey will step in. Well, there wasn't a whole lot of options with a lot of the fields being inundated by rain the last couple of days. You know what they wanted to rent this place? With an eight? $700. Wow. That's highway robbery. They ended up getting it down to 300 for the night at 350 Here's the 1-0. This is hit in the air, right side. Caught! Nice catch by Calabrese for the third out of the inning, but it is 2-0 Lowell as we head to the bottom of the first on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Heading to the bottom of the first, it's a 2-0 Lowell lead. Let's take a look at the post-77 lineup. Leading things off, the left fielder Sam Farrell, Brandon Grover, the center fielder batting second, Jackson Hornung, the shortstop hitting third, Dom Cavanaugh, the pitcher hitting cleanup, Sean Jewett, the catcher hitting fifth, Alex Amalfi, the third baseman hitting sixth, Cole Glassburn, the second baseman hitting seventh, Drew Rancatori, the first baseman hitting eighth, Nick Calabrese, the right fielder hitting ninth, Kyle Draper on the hill for Lowell with the rest of the post-87 defense. Here is Larry Sackler. Since I got the lineup really, really late, uh, unfortunately Lowell didn't provide it to you, and therefore you didn't provide it to me. If I butcher a name, apologize. Tyler Hoey at third, Ray Velasquez at second, Luke Silva at second base, Thomas Asset at first base, Luke uh, Glitter, and uh, Edgar Velasquez at center field, uh, John Mercury in right field, Johnny Donovan behind the plate catching Kyle Draper. Sam Farrell steps in, swing and a miss on the first pitch. There's a ball, one and one. Draper, a D1 pitcher out of Quinnipiac. Throws about 88 to 91. There's a strike, one and two. A 174 batting average for Sam Farrell. Well, I think the key for post 77 in this game is have some battles here with Draper. Make him throw a lot. Get him out of the game early. Yep, Sam Farrell gets on. He is a threat to steal. Two and one. Or excuse me, two and two. Jake Obid, first year manager coaching third base. Fouled away. What did they say the limit was, Larry? I think it's 105 cumulatively. He pitched, I thought it was 29 pitches. Uh, he was stopped at in game one. I believe it was 33. Oh yeah, actually I think you are right, it was 29. This is hit high in the air and it is caught. By glitter, yep. Zach Kish here with the catch. Brandon oh. Grover will step in. Sorry. So there you go, there's five pitches right there. Or actually six. All right. We just got a report from the HCAM Weather Center. Ball outside. 67 degrees at game time. Ah. Cold front moving in. Brandon Grover hitting a 419 overall. Takes that one low. He's had a great season. And will have a great season as a senior at Ashland High School. A clocker. The 2-0. A little bit high, says the umpire. Three and oh. Walks will be big in this situation. There's a strike. That was a take all the way. Show me a strike, says Brandon Grover. Oof, he did old. go. Full count. If the umpire peeled down here to me, I would have I would have rung him up. Swing and a miss. Two away. I'll bring up Jackson Hornung. Hornung has hit well in the postseason. 
Is the umpire giving the lower bench a little warning? That would be nice. Warning hitting a 529 overall. 569 on base percentage. Perhaps he's looking for the guy whose car alarm's going off. Inside heat. The only thing we got to watch out for is uh, a slow looping breaking ball that Jackson pulls. And he gets a piece of this one over to center field to the fence and that's gonna jump in front of the wall over to second he goes and the throw in's cut off. It's a one, it's a two out double for Jackson Hornung. Oh, well, it looks like he might have done something to his leg. Uh, maybe a little turf burn. Could be a turf burn. Tom Cavanaugh set to step in trying to help his own cause and Coach Obid going to check on Hornung. I think he would probably need to lose a leg to come out of this game. I don't know whether he, he was a little slow getting to the base or he tripped going over first base. They should have made it into second base standing up on that long ball. Draper now working from the stretch. Runner on second, two outs. Inside. I don't know who uh, Lowell brought in after they pulled Draper because he was going to go over his pitch count. I think it was one of the Velasquez brothers. And he gets a piece of this one over to center field. It is caught. That'll be the third out of the first inning. We will head to the top of the second. It's 2 nothing Lowell on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Top of the second inning, a 2-0 lead for Lowell Post 87. 7, 8, and 9 due up in this Lowell lineup. Good start for Lowell. As he plated two in the first. Here's Johnny Donovan, the long-legged catcher. Thomas Hassett scored on a buck, and then it was a sacrifice RBI fly out to score Ray Velasquez. We'll see if Dom Cavanaugh can calm it down this inning. And this is up the middle. Slow roller picked up by the shortstop. Throw to first. Got him. Six to three. Good throw by Horning. Stayed down on that ball nicely. John Mercury will step in. No relation to the Freddie Mercury. Maybe extended family. I don't know. <laughs> and this is going to take a couple hops. Picked up by Ornung. Throw to first. And he got him. Jackson Ornung with another nice play. Put a little mustard on that. Charged up all nicely. Threw off his back foot. I'll bring up Luke Silva, the second baseman. Sure, Luke, yeah. Down low. Well, post-77 has been used to mouthy dugouts before. Right, Tom? I certainly have. 2 and oh. Three times with Hudson, twice already with these guys, so nothing's new. It's the fourth meeting of the season with Lowell. Post 77 won the first three. They're trailing five to two in the second game of the regular season and came back to win that one. Yeah, Dom Cavanaugh is beyond rabbit ears. Three and one. Why 
Wind up and the pitch. Check swing, did he hold? Yes, says the umpire, it's a walk. Top of the order, Edgar Velasquez will step in. I would ask for a check. Yeah, it was Can't a hurt. close, right? Inside. That's where he likes to put it. Right on the hands. Silva is a threat to run. Being held on by Jude Rancatori. Two and oh. Strike one. Dom Cavanaugh likes to work quick. One are taking off from first. The throw by Jewett, not in time. Stolen base for Silva. Wind up and the pitch. It's a walk. Two straight walks by Kavanaugh. Here comes Jake Obid to have a combo. Thomas Hassett will step in. Now some rare struggles by Dom Kavanaugh. You wonder what the leash will be with him tonight. Well, they got Glassburn. He's always your option. Yeah, he threw to two hitters on Sunday. It's not an absolutely must win. You'd like to get it out of the way with if you can. There's Louis Dennison in the dugout, the submariner. Ben Fink threw some meaningful innings. Kavanaugh looks at second and deals. Swing and a miss. Hassett possesses really good power. Calabrese prayed him just right in right field, deep. Fouled away. Very late swing by Hassett. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit up the middle pass to Richo Kavanaugh, picked up by Glasper and throw to first, got him. Four to three for out number three to reach for Lowell, but no further damage is done. It's two nothing Lowell on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the second inning, five, six, and seven do up. Jewett, Amalfi, and Glassburn. And with your play-by-play, -play, here's Larry Sacklass. Leading off for Ashland, I almost said leading off for Hopkinton, is Sean Jewett. He's hitting close to 500, if not over 500. Pitch low, taken by Jewett. One ball. Cameron maybe get blocked out a few times by Coach Obed. Here's a fly ball in the center field. Velasquez over, going back, makes the grab. One out. Noisy out by Sean Jewett. Certainly he was. The whole bench letting him hear it. Yep, Alex Amalfi. The future UMass Boston, I'll say star. The ball inside. Pitched a great game, six and a third innings the other night. A strike. Counts even. One and one. Oh. 
There's a deuce. He's down on the count, one and two. Draper, according to Coach Steve Simos, throwing low 90s. And there's a foul back. Cole Glassburn looks like he's on deck. One of the heroes from Sunday's game. Yeah, that suicide squeeze bunt to score the go-ahead run. Got to watch that on the highlights. That's a must-see, must-see TV. Swing and a miss. Two away. Donovan throws the ball or a reverse around the corn, around the horn. Cole hitting over 400 for the summer. Heading down to Catholic University in Washington, D.C. Gets the first pitch from Draper. Takes for a ball. 382 overall for Cole. 432 yeah. on base percentage. Major contributions on the mound. Foul back. One and one. Winner who goes to Fino Field will be playing Shrewsbury. The stacked Shrewsbury team. There's some smoke there, but taken by Glassburn. He's up on the count, two and one. Foul our way. Out of play. Almost hit the light behind us. Yeah. I'm not afraid. You're right in front of me. <laughs> counts counts even two and two. Well, we could sacrifice Connor if we have to. Got a good crowd down here tonight, Tom. We do. Oh. Uh, Inside. As Dennis Eckersley would say, he almost left his shoes in the batter's box. I was ready to ring him up. Counts full. Fly ball. Out to Velasquez, the shorts up. No, glitch here will get it for the out to retire the side. One, two, three. And we'll be back to the top of the third inning. On the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. That's right. I'm sorry. On the Ashland Baseball <laughs> Legion Network. <laughs> Leading off for Lowell is Ray Velasquez. Ask me if that's the correct pronunciation, Tom. Sure. C. Si. <laughs> that's Ray? yes in Spanish. <laughs> Ray Velasquez, was that this year? Kyle DeRoma do up. Yeah, those three. The three Musketeers. Cavan up pitches. Down low. Started him off with some slow stuff. Dom digging into his mitt. Maybe some other breaking stuff coming out. No, nope, goes with the heater and doesn't get the call. Two balls. Velasquez boys got great speed along with Silva. Hassett not so much. Ball inside. 3-0. Listen for the Lowell dugout to uh, get a little noisy. Unless the umpire decided to take control earlier. Is a strike on the outside corner. Three and one. Oh, we got some Lowell fans down on the right field line strolling in. They had a long commute, about 40 minutes or so, plus or minus five. There's a fly ball in the left field over to Sam Farrell. He squeezes it for the first out of the inning. Nice play, Sammy. In the right place at the right time. And here's my boy, Zach Gilcher. How many different pronunciations? <laughs> <laughs> if I had, he's one of the handsome brothers from the movie Slapshot. I mentioned a few times before. Not a big fan of the hair, but he can hit. That's why he's hitting cleanup. Dom starts him off with a little breaking pitch. Taken low. As Dom gets in a groove, he becomes very difficult to hit. Ball low. And once he gets out of the groove, he gets in trouble. So Coach Obed will keep a close eye on Mr. Kavanaugh. Gilchir uh, is uh, with some spectacles, I believe, when he pitches. There's a ball inside. Two 
You don't like to get behind with these Lowell hitters. Up and down the line, if they can hit, it is going to be a ball. And that's uh, going to be a walk for Kavanaugh. Four pitch walk for Kavanaugh. It's his third walk of the day. That's what Coach Obed's got to look out for. Now, Gilchir is not a uh, threat to steal. Although you got to keep a little bit of an eye. There's a strike on the outside corner. Kyle DeRoma, the designated hitter. Even if you throw it over there to let let the runner know, you know he's there, he throws over, and not in time, not even close. That's all you need. I know you're there. Count 0-1 on DeRoma. Pitch, strike two. Pours that fastball over the outside corner. Kavanaugh, cleat in the rubber. Gets the sign, the pitch. Break and pitch inside. Didn't get the call. People can't text me during a during a game while I'm calling it. Slight lead by Gilchir. There's a pitch. Yeah, I'd say that's a strike. And that's a strike three. That's strike three. K for Kavanaugh. It's his first strikeout of the game. He needs more of those. Two down. Gilchir, slight stutter step off first base. I wouldn't call it a lean, but he made some movement. It was a balk the other night. We're not sure what happened. There's a curveball the outside corner. A strike. Brandon Grover playing fairly shallow. I mean, fairly deep. Earlier he was playing shallow for a kid with more power. There's runner taking off. Ground ball in the hole. Grover, or... Calabrese picks it up, throws it into Hornung. Little hit and run there. They're very aggressive on the base pass. Lowell is. Certainly are. So single by Hoey and Gishier slides over to third. Yeah, his leggy Johnny Donovan. Grounded out his last time up. Last inning. Yep. Runners at the corner. Two out though. Jewett should just let it rip. It's a called strike on the outside corner. Kavanaugh's pitch count climbing. Slight lead over at first base. Call time. Thought it was going to be a balk. Someone called time. Either the hitter called time, the catcher called time. Somebody called time. Assuming the hitter. It wasn't like he was waiting for an hour for a pitch. To the set, the pitch. The foul ball off to the right, out of play. Dom can keep the score 2-0. That'll be a, uh, a victory. Runner takes off. Foul back. Well, with the one-two count and two outs, the hit and run is on. Yep. They are aggressive. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Around the catcher's box. Looks like they're going to be sending the runner each and every pitch. Inside. Almost hit him. Well, if, you, 
yep, Don uh, Don Cavanaugh's uh, two-seamer does ride in on the hitters. Just ask Mike Ryan of Hudson. There's strike three. There See is. you later. Sit down. Take a seat. Out number three for Lowell. We'll move on to the, to bottom, the bottom of the third. Right. It's two nothing Lowell on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the third inning, eight, nine, and one do up. Drew Rancatori, Nick Calabrese, and Sam Farrell. Two nothing Lowell lead. As Kyle Draper set to deal. Upstairs. For every pitch he throws, it's one less that he's allowed to throw. His max is 105, I think. And this is hit in the air. Foul. One and one. Ron Rankatori, who's hitting a 121 this season for Ashram Legion. 211 on base percentage. Of course, been dealing with that hamstring injury, but starting to feel a bit better. And you can certainly tell by the way he swung the bat late, lately and ran up the base paths. And he'll get a piece of this one over to right field, and that'll trickle in for a hit. Uh, his high school coach likes that. Leadoff single for Rankatori, and now Nick Calabrese will step in. Second hit off uh, Draper, that double by Jackson Hornung, and now the single by Drew Rankatori, the uh, Hopkins and Hiller on his home turf here. Next year's captain of the baseball team. Lefty awaits the pitch. Strike one. Drew Rancatori, not a threat to steal. That might be the understatement of the evening. Strike two. Calabrese up to this point hitting a 294. 379 on base percentage. And he'll foul that one off. Count remains 0 and 2. Calabrese has driven in eight runs, scored six. Runner on first, no outs, four post 77. Fouled away. That a boy. Keep burning his pitches. Big crowd tonight, Tom. Absolutely. The biggest crowd of the year. I think a lot of the uh, Hopkinson fans might have come out yeah, to support Yeah, something doing. Better than sitting in the pizza shop. Come down here and watch a game. Gets a piece of this one, and it's going to get past the second baseman. And the throw to second, they will get an out. A good play by Ray Velasquez as he fell down, but it was able to get the ball over to second base. Yeah, to check that ball out. for blood. Right. But Drew Rancatori had to play it halfway, or he could have got doubled off. So it is what it is. A 6-4 to four force out. Now Sam Farrell will step in. Well, we trade uh, no speed for speed. What Coach Obid does with Johnny Donovan behind the plate. Nick Calabrese on the base. Ball one. One and oh. Very impressed with the turnout now that I see it. Swing and a miss. One Whoa. and one. He was going for Lansdowne Street with that swing. Let it rip. Swing and a miss, one and two. Just overmatched by Draper's fastball. He'll make him bring it down into the zone. He's got him with two high ones. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes up again. Inside. That was up and in. Got a nice swing. Where's he from, Ashland or Holliston? Farrell. Holston, down low, full count. Sam Farrell had a 352 on the season for Holliston, played in 18 games. 
And he hits this one in the air. Foul out of play. Cow remains full. Farrell scored 14 runs for the Panthers of Holliston. Drove in eight. Six doubles, two triples, and a home run. Hmm. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, and he draws the walk. Two on, one out. Big opportunity here for post 77. Brandon Grover will step in. Lowell manager going to come out and have a conversation with Kyle Draper. He did pitch 29 pitches earlier. I can't believe he would tighten up in that short. Uh, weight he had between games. Well, I mean, you got to think he's up probably in the 30s about now. Well. So overall, he's probably thrown close to 60 pitches. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you're right, right around that. 29 from the Natick game and probably about 30 or so in this one. In between innings, I'll see if I can't get a, a count. Oof, just fouled. Brandon Grover went four for four against Hudson in Saturday's game. Scored a pair, stole a couple bags, drove in a run. I thank the, the Natick uh, Legion Club for the use of their uh, press box over the weekend. That was unbelievable. Certainly do. And that ball gets away from the catcher. Both runners will advance. Was that a swing or not a swing? I don't believe he swung. I think he held. No, there's the appeal. Base umpire says no swing. Yeah, certainly a big thank you to Matt Lodi and the Natick staff for letting us use that beautiful press box over at Mahan Field. We got to butter up the commish too, don't we? Absolutely, Len Noche was kind enough to join us during Saturday's broadcast. And the future of Zone 5 baseball certainly seems bright with some of the things he was saying about a potential Junior Legion program. Chris Sale going tonight for the Red Sox down in Tampa. Swing and a tip. Yep. One and two. Two and two, excuse me. Well, two runners in scoring position with one out. Great time for a timely hit. And this is foul. Over my head, over your head, over is our cameraman's head. Ooh, was it, did he catch it? I don't believe so. No. We got a gold glove fan down there. It's another pitch by Draper. Not a lot of room on that left side in foul territory. Before you run into that fence. And there's a pitcher's mound down there to warm up. Swing and a miss, two way. Well, this is who you want at the plate, Jackson Hornung. Absolutely. Two in scoring position, he had a double in the first inning. And Draper knows it. He's gotta be careful. He's got a base open there. Is he going to throw him anything? Yes, he will, strike one. <laughs> he threw his number one. Jackson seen guys that throw this hard before. And he gets a piece of this one. That'll drop into center field. One run is in. Here comes another. And Farrell's going to score as well. It's a two to two ball game. Jackson Hornung with a two RBI single. Rip City. Calabrese and Farrell both score. And we are all tied up. Sucks the life right out of the Lowell dugout. Tom Cavanaugh will step in. Need some oxygen over there? <gasps> oh, boy. A lot of noise out of the 77 dugout. Well-deserved noise as Cavanaugh takes a strike. A two-to-two -two ball game. Coach Obed loves to pace up and down that third baseline. There's a strike. 
Uh, wasn't Don's pitch? Wasn't Dom's pitch? In on his hands. Coach Obid gonna send Jackson. Should have. There's strike three. But not before post 77 plates two runs. It's a two to two ball game as we head to the top of the fourth on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fourth inning, we are knotted up at two apiece between Ashland Legion Post 77 and Lowell Legion Post 87. And due up for Lowell, eight, nine, and one, John Mercury, Luke Silva, and Edgar Velasquez. And Larry, we've been talking about the pitch count for Kyle Draper all game long, and he had to throw quite a few pitches that last inning, and I understand you have a count for us. He's 58, plus is 29. You do the math at home. That's 87. One and oh. So what was the count, 105? I believe it's 105. So he's got 28 left he could throw. Or actually, no, make that 18. How's your math? Did you flunk it? Uh, 18. Well. 105 minus 87, 18. All right. I flunked it. <laughs> I think you did. Ball low. I did say 28 at first, but that was wrong. It's 18. So that means another inning or so. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got somebody that can throw who finished off the game for a low. I think it was one of the Velasquez boys. No, they they certainly do have um, a lot of pitching on this low team. So. Yeah, but they can't use guilt shear. They can't use him. 3-1 pitch. Fouled away. Full count. Mercury is 0 for 1 so far today. Things have quieted down a little bit with the score being tied now. Nothing, nothing game. Lowell led by head coach Kyle Gath, who's done a great job with this Lowell program the last few years. He was an assistant up until this year, and there's a strikeout. That'll bring up Luke Silva with one away. Silva walked his last time up back in the second inning. I believe he swiped a bag too. Could be wrong though. You are correct. There's a bunt. He went. Foul. Yeah. At they, least he made the attempt anyway. Bases clear, one out. How about Jackson Hornung? He's just been Money. red hot with the bat lately. And he was the, I think he was the defensive star in the last game. Cutting down a runner, trying to steal home. I would agree with you. That was a, just a heck of a play. That in the highlight package? Oh, yes. Oh. You got to hit replay to watch that. I'm hoping to do another extensive highlight package after this game, but we'll see how things go. Oh, and two. A lot of returning players from last year's team. Hassett, Silva, the two Velasquez brothers, DeRoma, Donovan. I don't, I, 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 I don't remember Gishier. Oh, he was there. Was he? And this is hit into right field. That'll get down a one-out single for Silva. Been a little bit of a pest. Nine hitter. Certainly has. Edgar Velasquez will step in. Velasquez is 0 for 1 with a walk. Down low. Good block by Sean Jewett. Pretty true hop off this turf. Doesn't really go right or left. He drops right down in front of the catcher. Checking at first, runner just back. So again, if post 77 wins here tonight, they advance on to the state tournament starting Saturday, Fino Field, 10 a.m. ball game. Runner taking off from first as this is fouled away. Another hit and run. It was right off the pole near the little dugout. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. So they're stay, staying with their program, which is to be aggressive on the base paths. Right. 
The 1-1, runner taking off. Jewett's going to throw up to second. Was it in time? No. That was a pretty good throw too, but Luke Silva showing off the wheels. Dom's a, Dom's a little slow to the plate. Doesn't have a slide step. He's got a high leg lift. But he's a gamer, so you take that. Kavanaugh looks at second and deals. Swing and a miss. Two, two and two. Dom's nice and loose before a game. All smiles. Checking at second, and it gets away from Hornung as the runner kind of bumped into him there. A little taste of Lowell's medicine there. They've, they've done that uh, inside move pickoff play. Yeah. It's twice now uh, 77's tried it. Almost had him too. Yeah. Kavanaugh from the stretch. Fouled away. Edgar Velasquez continues to battle. Yeah. He does not go down easily, that's for sure. No. Or C. <laughs> Silva creeping down the line a little bit. Kavanaugh turned towards second. Gets away from the catcher, runner up to third. Wild pitch. Full count now on Velasquez. Dom's pitch count must be over 80. Right, that's something else we'll have to pay attention to. All right, infield's gonna be brought all the way in. Well, big opportunity for Lowell to retake the lead. Gets a piece of this one over to center field. Runners going to tag from third. The throw in is not in time. It's three to two. A sacrifice RBI flyout for Velasquez. Brandon Grover showing off his gun. I'll bring up Thomas Hassett, the first baseman. See that walk to Silva really cost Dom. Certainly did. Being the nine hitter and all. He's been troubled today. And this is up the left side. That'll get into left field. Two out single for Hassett. That'll bring up Ray Velasquez. Another hitter not so easily to take down. Yeah, that's why I don't like the turf. It's just too quick. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Cool. He was going for the downs on that. Didn't get cheated. Has it not a threat to steal? Big boy over there. Wow. Oh, huh. Jackson Hornung. I can hear him from shortstop saying, oh, come on. I don't know what was wrong with that one. Jackson Horning playing very, very deep. Three feet off the lip of the grass. Two and one. Our cameraman can get a quick shot of Jackson Horning over there. The DP is over there. Rarely see a shortstop play that deep, but the ball will come to him very, very quickly. Gets away from the catcher. Another wild pitch. Well, Kavanaugh having a tough time out there. John tried to pick that one off the turf. Yeah, I'd imagine uh, when the ball is down in the turf, it's a lot harder to pin it compared to what it would be with dirt. Yeah, you want to drop down to your knees. There's a walk. Wow, very close. Very, very close. Well, this umpire certainly has a stingy strike zone. Here's your buddy. 
Zach Gishier, the left fielder, will step in. He's been a pest today. A sacrifice RBI in the first and a walk in the third. Well, I think uh, the hope is for post 77, Kavanaugh gets out of this inning with no further damage. And then, I agree. And then you start thinking about a relief pitcher. I'm looking around for one. I see one at second base. Almost through to second, but the runner is back. First and second, another run is in for Lowell. It's three to two here in the top of the fourth. Only a bad thing can happen if trying to inside move Hassett. Down low. End up throwing the ball into the outfield and giving him a free base. Looks like Kavanaugh's just having trouble getting his pitches up in the zone. Looks at second and deals. There's a strike, one and one. Dom pitched a complete game against Hudson at Hudson, correct? Inside. I think he went the distance in that one. But yes, he did. Yeah. He's got some stamina. Two and one. There was an ugly first three innings down at Hudson. Ashland had three runs with no hits. Three and one. Coach Obid motioning to Dom Cavanaugh to just calm down, settle down, work the hitter. One pitch at a time. I don't think Hassett will score on a base hit unless it's a gap. Fouled away, full count. I don't see anybody chasing that ball down. <laughs> it's a $7 missing sphere. Payoff pitch. There's strike three. Yep. Zach Gishier didn't like it, but that looked good to me. And Kavanaugh gets out of the inning without any further damage after a little plates a run. It's a three to two ball game as we head to the bottom of the fourth on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Sean Jewett to start off the bottom of the fourth, five, six, and seven do up. Fouled away. Jewett, Amalfi, and Glassburn. A three to two Lowell lead. They played it a run on the top of the inning. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklett here at Hopkinton High School. For Ashland Legion baseball tonight, Connor Donovan on camera, that pitch down low. Yeah, buddy out in left field is playing a little shallow, I'm just saying. Sean Jewett can get a hold of one. He'll be running for a while. Gets a piece of this one. That's a rocket up the left side, but it's foul. I thought you were going to have to uh, uh, glove that one, Larry. Uh -huh. My arm isn't that long. The one, two, down low. Good take by Jewett. Another pitch thrown by Draper. Here's the two, two. Swing and a miss. He's gonna try to go the throw up in time. That'll bring up Alex Amalfi, the third baseman. He struck out. His only time up in the second inning. Cole Glassburn will follow Amalfi. This game was originally supposed to take place at Mahan Field in Natick, but rain changed those plans. So we're here at the turf at Hopkinton High School. There's a strike. Lowell sending down pitcher to warm up in the bullpen. I think that's Paris. And this is hit in the air, right side foul. Perry or Pear? He came in the other night. It's Pear. Pear. Malfi hitting a 333 overall, 457 on base percentage. He has scored five, driven in seven runs. That is low.
Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. He goes down by way of the K, two away. That'll bring up Cole Glassburn. Oh. That was a nice pitch sequence by Draper. I'll give him credit. Malfi was way out in front on that it's the pitch. Sixth strikeout for Draper today. Glassburn gets a piece of this one up the middle. Drop by Draper. Picks it up. Throw to first. Not a problem. One to three. And one, two, three they go as we head to the top of the fifth. It's a three to two lead for Lowell on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fifth inning, a three to two lead for Lowell. Coming up for post 87, five, six, and seven. Kyle DeRoma, Tyler Hoey, and John Donovan. Tom Cavanaugh remains in the game. Struggled a bit last inning. We'll see if he has a smoother time this inning. I think if he can give him one good inning here, I think that'd be a real victory. There's a strike. Sorry, I didn't get a pitch count on Dominic in between innings. I apologize. Won't let it happen again. Oh, and two. It's a good thing I didn't because he got the first two over for strikes. This is hit in the air, up the middle, and caught by Hornung. Hornung really had a run to his left to get to that one and was able to do so, one away. I'll bring up Tyler Hoey. That dropped in, we would have called that a blooper. That was a great play instead. It certainly was. Lights are on here at Hopkinton High School. just high. They're a new kind of light as opposed to those big bulb-like uh, lights that are on the stanchions you see at uh, older parks. Well, this is a brand new field, so you might as well get the brand new style lights. Yep, I believe it's LED type of lights. Oh, he pitched a good game the other night. I'll give him credit before they had to yank him. Certainly did. For Pear or Perry. 2 0. There's a strike. And this is up the middle. It takes a couple hops, picked up by Hornung. Throw to first, not a problem. Six to three for out number two. I'll bring up John Donovan, the catcher. That's why I like the turf. <laughs> <laughs> when it's hit right at somebody. You can take all day to throw it. Not sure what was wrong with that one, but one and oh. Six hole in the four hole are awful quick. Middle infield is playing way back. There's a strike, one and one. Just rocking and shooting this inning, Dom Cavanaugh is. Maybe he's settling down a bit. Well. Down low, two and one. Good sized kid, Dom Cavanaugh. Solid. This is hit in the air, right side to the fence and caught. Nick Calabrese was on the warning track to make that catch. One, two, three, they go. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. It's a three to two low lead on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fifth inning, due up four post 77, eight, nine, and one. Drew Rancatori, Nick Calabrese, and Sam Farrell. Cole Glassburn is getting loose for post 77 to potentially come in and pitch. A three to two low lead. Kyle Draper still out there for post 87. He's getting up there in the pitch count as well. Brock Pear warming up for Lowell. Fouled away. Add that one to his pitch count. 
Did I tell you what Dom Cavanaugh was up to? You didn't. Did but did we mention it? Oh, you said 98. 97. Ah. <laughs> Down low. So Pear is still continuing to warm down the right field line. I bet they get out of the bullpen area. And this is up the middle, takes a couple hops, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first, and it's out number one. The Calabrese will step in. Assets kept his foot on the bag. I was seeing if he dropped the ball. Nice to see Mike Messier, one of the assistant coaches. Hopkins in high school grad. Went to Clarkson. I believe he play hockey. Was a ball. Was a uh, good multi-sport athlete for the Hillers. One and O on Calabrese. Upstairs. Draper knows he's the nine hitter. Maybe it'll be payback with Silva being the nine hitter. There's a strike. Call that a strike? Oh, no, that was ball. ball. The umpire screamed three. I thought he said strike. Three and oh is the count. That's a smart move by Calabrese, Ooh. and here's the Lowell uh, manager coming out. What do we have here? He's gonna maybe going to give the uh, finger down to the bullpen or give Paris some time to continue to heat up. So it looks like Draper will stay in for yeah, the rest. Give him the intentional pass. Ah, okay. Does that count as a pitch? It does not. No? I don't believe so. I'm going to disagree. <laughs> does it? I, I, I would know. think if it's four balls, I mean. But you didn't actually throw a pitch. Yeah, but you if it was You don't throw the pitches anymore. But in the old intentional pass, you had to throw. I, I don't know. We can't get into a spat. <laughs> we'll have to ask the coach after the game. Sam Farrell steps in. He's 0 for 1 with a walk and scored a run so far today. There is ball one. Yep, Draper is struggling a little bit with his control. Donovan ripped that pitch back as if he was going to throw behind the runner. Strike one. I think Farrell was sort of uh, deciding, should I or shouldn't I on that one? Got caught in the middle. Ashland hasn't had the run game going at all today. The 1-1. One, one. Ball two. Post 77 dugout starting to make some noise. As they should. A little dose of Lowell's medicine, and Donovan and Draper are going to have a convo. Runner on first, one out for Ashland. Cole Glassburn throwing long toss with Dante DiVanzio. Cole's arm is made of rubber, like Gumby. Gets loose very, very quickly. Line up and the pitch. That is a swing and a miss, two and two. Brandon Grover on deck. Air strike three. Got him looking two way. Brandon Grover will step in, and this might be it for Kyle Draper. It will be all. See you later. See you next year. He's reached the pitch count, and that's going to do it. We'll have a relief pitcher for Lowell. Draper ends up going four and two thirds of an inning. Gives up two runs, both of them earned. And he also gave up two hits to this post-77 lineup. Brock Pear will be the new pitcher, and we'll take a timeout, a 3-2 to two low lead here in the bottom of the fifth on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Continuing on in the bottom of the fifth, Brandon Grover coming up to the plate, one on, two outs. The new pitcher is Pat Crowley for Lowell. 
He played third base the other night when Tyler Hoey was in there pitching. So Pat Crowley in the game. And he is set to deal. Down low. 77, as I was talking to you in between uh, our commercial break, has it has done no no running at all. Calabrese's got decent speed. There's a strike, one and one. I don't know. I'd I'd cut I'd cut the runner loose. Could have a nice hit and run situation, play a little low old baseball. A very small lead over there at first base. Crowley deals down low. Post 77 does have the last ups here, being the home team, so maybe that's uh, the cards that Jake Obit is playing right now, not taking any chances. Another pitch down low. Certainly not a flamethrower, Pat Crowley. Seventy-seven was getting dialed in on Draper, especially Jackson Hornung. Here's the three one. And there's ball four. Two on, two outs. Jackson Hornung will step in. He's two for two today. Two RBI single in the third to score Nick Calabrese and Sam Farrell. And that came with two outs. Can he have another two out hit here? I'd like to see him take a pitch rather than swing at the first thing he sees. Wind up in the pitch. Down low. Yeah, now he's seen it. I think Pat Crowley's still trying to get his uh, momentum. The sea legs out there? Yeah, exactly. He's not used to that mound, never pitched off that mound. That ball too. Yeah, Dom Cavanaugh waiting on deck. Little discussion between John Donovan and Pat Crowley. Now Perry or Pear looked pretty good when he came in the other night. Oh, he might be up next. Oh, Coach Obid barking out some orders about lead length. Getting a good secondary lead when Crowley goes to the plate. There is two outs after all. The 2-0. Up high. Well, when a pitcher starts looking down at the mound at their feet, they may smell trouble. I don't think you swing the bat unless you get a strike. Unless it comes like a big fat watermelon. That's right. 3 0 pitch. Gets a piece of this one, hit high in the air, right field, and it's caught. Well, that's the third out of the inning, so Crowley able to get out of it with no harm done. We'll head to the sixth, 3 to 2 Lowell. Top of the sixth inning, eight, nine, and one to up for Lowell. John Mercury, Luke Silva, Edgar Velasquez to face Dom Cavanaugh, who's out there. We'll see what the leash length is with Cavanaugh. He must be getting up towards the pitch count maximum. He's got eight left, eight left in the bank. Cole Glassburn was just getting loose, so he'll likely co will come in next.
Ball one. I believe the rule is if you're at 104, you can start a, next, a new hitter. If you hit 105, you're out. Strike one. One and one. Or you might have to come out at exactly 105. I don't know, so I shouldn't. Uh... Fouled away. One and two. Is that net new, or was that there all season? I believe it was there. Yeah? I'm not sure. Huh. <laughs> well, if it was there, then shame on us. Maybe it wasn't. I can't remember. And there's a strikeout. Jouette will throw down, no problem. One away. Luke Silva will step up to the plate. See if they can get this pain out. He's been trouble. Scored two runs, I think. He scored one run. One run. But he also walked. He's walked and singled so far today. Takes a strike there. It's out of rock and shoot, Dom. Strike two. He's pumping in fastballs. Don't mess around with your nine hitter. Give him the old Pedro Ponchado. Down low. I think that's Spanish for punch. <laughs> or punch out. <laughs> Here's the one, two, and it is inside. The two, two. Battle continues. Dom's got to know he's really close. Let's rear bike and let it loose. Empire saying something to the old dugout. Uh, that surprise you? No. Could have been asking the pitch count. Ah. There it is. Two away. And that looks like that's going to do it. That will do it. For Kavanaugh. So Coach Obid coming out. We'll wait and see if he takes the ball here. He, he may send Rancatori to the bench. He will take the ball. So we are going to have a pitching change. Edgar Velasquez. Is due up next. Pretty good performance by Dom Cavanaugh against the very tough Lowell lineup. Cole Glassburn is going to take over on the mound. And we'll take a timeout. It's 3-2 to two Lowell on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. New pitcher for post 77. Hopkinton zone. Cole Glassburn is in the game to take over for Dom Cavanaugh. Tom Cavanaugh went five and two-thirds of an inning, giving up four walks, three runs, all of them earned. Cavanaugh is moved over to third base. And at second, that is, I believe, Dante Diavanzo over at second base. And looks like Rankatori stays in the game at first. And Oops. First pitch there is a ball to Velasquez. Edgar. Is it Edgar or Ray? It's Edgar. 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 There's a strike. One and one. Cole likes to work quick. Earlier in the year, it was like eight or nine seconds in between pitches. Backs off the rubber. Down low. Two as and one. As we've seen all year, he will throw it. Three quarters, he'll drop down to the side. That was a nice breaking pitch, two and two. He'll quick pitch you when you least suspect it. Two outs in the inning. Make it three, a strikeout for Cole Glassburn. And we will head to the bottom of the six. It's three to two all on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the sixth inning, four, five, and six to up for post 77. Dom Cavanaugh, Sean Jewett, and Alex Amalfi. 
Melfi was the starting third baseman. Kavanaugh moved over to third, so we'll have to see what that means for the lineup, but I believe it might stay the same. Here's the windup and the pitch from Crowley. Strike one. Well, Crowley was struggling to find the strike zone since coming in in relief last inning. There's a 3-1 count on Hornung, and he flew out to right field. And this is hit in the air, foul. That ball's lost, way out in front of that pitch. Our cameraman's getting hungry. He's heading off to Maine after the game. Wants to know what time the local pizza shop closes. Told him we got a ball game going on here. Never mind the pizza. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Crowley set the deal. Down low. Not even tempting. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away, two and two. Kind of an excuse me, check swing. Crowds all the way up the first and third baseline and the bleachers are almost full. Another low pitch there. Things getting a little tight around the collar there for Pat Crowley. He's in the pressure cooker right now. Fouled away. Ah. Good battle here between Cavanaugh and Crowley. He tried to rear back there and get the number one by Dom, but not happening. And Cavanaugh holds. That'll fill up the count. Things slowing down for Pat Crowley. Not working quick at all. Payoff pitch. Fouled away. Ooh. Okay. Dom Cavanaugh not getting cheated on his swings. I get a feeling they'll pinch run for him if he gets on. Ooh, that hit him. Well, it looked like he was going for the inside heat there, but ends up hitting Kavanaugh. Lead runner on, Sean Jewett will step into the batter's box. No pinch run. Okay. Dom's got decent speed, but he's not blazing speed. Three for three on steal attempts. You don't want to get picked off, though. We haven't seen Crowley's move. Not like the other night's pick off. Swing and a miss. Jewett is 0 for 2 today. Giltshire, your buddy, is playing very, very deep. Couldn't play any deeper than that out there. About one foot from striding over the fence. Gets a piece of this one, and it is foul. 0 oh and 2. Sean's got to protect against the breaking pitch. Kavanaugh with a pretty significant lead over at first. Down oh. low. Oh, gee. Good eye there. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure Sean Jewett's heart's beating a little bit. Just outside. The one, two. Gets a piece of this one, pass the reach of the pitcher, grabbed by the second baseman, flip to Velasquez for one throw to first, and they double him up. 4-6-3. Alex Amalfi will step in. 
Hmm. Actually, is this the Alonzo? Yes. Dante Diavonzo stepping in. He came into the game to take over at second base. So Alex Amalfi out of the ball game. Would Amalfi hit in Rankatori spot then? Nope. They just uh, pulled him and shifted guys around the defensively. Kavanaugh is now the third baseman. He keeps his spot in the lineup. There's a strike. Devonzo over at second base. And Glassburn keeping his spot in the lineup as the pitcher. The 0-2. Fouled away. Well, that was a tough break there for post 77. Getting into the double play. Yeah, it was sort of a made to order double play type. If Lowell hangs on to win this game, Ashland will play tomorrow night over at Mahan Stadium in Natick. One and two. I think it's two two. Could be wrong. Usually am. You are. True that. Fouled away. Devonzo's a line drive type hitter. Giltry is playing way deep. Swing and a miss. And that's how the sixth inning will end. We'll head to the seventh. A 3-2 to two lead for Lowell on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Top of the seventh inning. A 3-2 to two Lowell lead. 2-3 two, and 4 due up for post 87 as they try to add some insurance. Cole Glassburn out there in relief. Thomas Hassett, Ray Velasquez, and Zach Gishier to the plate. Tom Cavanaugh went five and two thirds of an inning in his start. Gave up four walks, three runs, and six hits. Glassburn came in to face the last hitter of the sixth inning and struck him out. Time called for a baseball delivery. Has it been much squawking about balls and strikes tonight? No, I'd say the strike zone's been relatively consistent. There's a strike. I don't have too many complaints. I mean, we don't have that bird's eye view that we had in that Natick press box, but fouled away. Starts him off with two straight breaking pitches, so you know what that means. The gas pipe. The 0-2, fouled away. Ooh, off the light, off the dugout. Well, the lights don't break. I think they're ball proof. <laughs> Cole tried to quick pitch him earlier in the year and Hassett smoked him out. Oh, come on, two and two. Even our cameraman was leaning over saying, come on, that was a strike. Looked good from here. Swing and a miss, out number one. And I'm fooled with the breaking pitch. Ray Velasquez will step in. Ray Coach. is one for two with a walk and a single, scored a run and stole a base. Coach Simos is going to be a proud papa behind the, the backstop. The senior. Strike one. He's feeling it. Oh, 
Hit in the air, center field, caught. Two way. Zach Gishier will step in. It's nothing but a loud out. He's your buddy. Larry just says that because he doesn't know how to say his name. There's strike one. That's true, but could you have sprayed that insect repellent any closer to me? <laughs> I was spraying you my... You see where the wind's blowing. I was blowing. getting attacked over here. I had a mosquito going for my head. I got to move five feet away from you. Ball one, one and one. Cole's throwing about six breaking pitches to one fastball. Swing and a miss. You got your boy there. Snuck a, snuck a laser right by him. I like the throwback that Jewett gave him there. <laughs> the bench will erupt if he whips him. It's a quick pitch. Oh. Down low. He's always got to sneak one of those in. <laughs> the 2-2. Two -two. Down low. Full count. They probably warn all the hitters, watch out for this kid. He'll sneak one. Hit in the air, up the middle, and it is caught. One, two, three, they go in the seventh, but post 77 down to their final three outs, trailing three to two as we head to the bottom of the seventh on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the seventh inning, Ray Velasquez moves over from shortstop to take over on the mound to try to close this game out. Seven, eight, and nine do up. Cole Glassburn steps in. Swing and a miss. Your buddy in left field is playing too shallow, and your buddy in center field is playing way too shallow. Ray Velasquez can deal. Hit high in the air, right side, and it is going up. <laughs> the center fielder trips, and Glassburn safe at second. A little bit of a wet surface, and Cole Glassburn will have the double. Whoops. I told you he was playing too shallow. The center fielder wipes out, and the tying run is on second base. Unbelievable. So what's the manager coming out for? Drew Rankatori will step in. Going to walk the next hitter? And we know Cole can't run, but don't tell Lowell that, right? Absolutely. We're nodding to Coach Obid that we did capture that on, on camera. Well, I don't know if you can ask for any more of a break than that. Now, Cole cannot get caught with an inside move like he did the other night. Cannot get picked off second base. They've got a drawn up play for that. Drew Rankatori steps in to the left-handed batter's box. Shortstop sneaking in behind Cole. Ray Velasquez deals up high. That was unbelievable. Edgar Velasquez just wiped right out right. trying to get to that ball. I felt that one from here. <laughs> Wind up and the pitch, up high. Things are getting a little tight out there for Velasquez. Tension will do that to you. Good hitter in Rancatori. The Calabrese do up next. Bach. That's a Bach. Coach Give him third that's base. A Bach. And it's a Bach. Cole Glassburn marches up to third. You drop the ball when you're on the mound. It's a Bach and a free base. Everybody wow. in the ballpark yelled Bach. Lowell trying to keep their calm. Five ball, do it. Yeah. 
No outs, runner on third. Coach Obid giving Cole Glassburn all the possible scenarios. Whether he'll go on contact. Infield is in for Lowell. Upstairs, 3 and 0. Oh. I got to think if Rancatori gets on, you got a pinch run for him. There's a four pitch walk. Nick Calabrese will step in. He's 0 for 1 today. Reached on a fielder's choice, walked, scored a run. Drew would not be able to break up a double play. I'm just not sure why there's no pinch runner, but Jake, I'm sure, has a good reason for it. Well, Glassburn, uh, he wants to leave him in the pitch if needed. No, I'm talking about for Drew. Drew's wounded over there. Oh, well, not sure. Well, oh, the Lowell dugout is, oh, there's church mice in there. A one and oh count on Calabrese. It's been five straight balls from Velasquez. I think you have to make him throw a strike before you swing. Ball two. Oh, Lowell thinks they're getting squeezed. Two and O oh on Calabrese. Shortstop and second baseman at double play depth. It's a strike. Sam Farrell do up next. Third baseman in. Just in case Cole decides to take off for home on a ground ball. Down low, three and one. Two on, no outs. I th don't think you swing here. No. He's struggling with his control. Well, I think this all started when Cole reached due to the center fielder just straight out wiping out. I hit him! And what was that about? They're gonna call foul. Oh, they're gonna say he got a piece of the bat. Maybe the knob. Umpire called it right away. No indecision. Well, the way that ball deflected, it did kind of look like that was the case. It did. Payoff pitch. Fouled away. Post 77 not going down without a fight. And uh, outfielder wiping out. You gonna put that in slow motion? Oh. I bet you you do. <laughs> I'd imagine so. Fouled away. I've seen a few wipeouts in it, baseball games, but that was the best. That was, very, was very good, I gotta say. <laughs> I, if I were an Olympic judge, I would give him a, a 9.88. Yep. I'm right there with you. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away, the battle continues. Nick Calabrese Ooh. certainly battling here and that might have got someone's car. Sam Farrell waiting patiently on deck. 77 can't let Lowell off the hook. He certainly can't. Maybe Cole could dance down the line here and see if he can get in Velasquez's. Payoff pitch. And this is a little trickler caught by the third baseman. The runners stay put. One away, runners on the corners. Sam Farrell to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today with a walk. Now he's going to pinch run for Drew Rancatori. Going to be Kevin Balowitz in the pinch run for Drew Rancatori. Still got to score that run. Yeah, Cole can only get in uh, Velasquez's peripheral vision. One out, runners on the corners.
Shimmy down the line, Cole. Brandon Grover due up next if Farrell doesn't hit into a double play. Inside. What do you call that? Inside cheese. Yeah. Music. I heard the violin play. One and oh. Swing and a miss. One and one. The last thing you want here is a strikeout. Well, he hits it on the ground. It's unlikely they'll double him up. Oh, and they got the runner in a pickle a little bit, but no one at third. Glassburn's back, one and two. Well, they try that again. I don't know why. Uh, Balowitz didn't take off. I thought they should have tried that with Calabrese, maybe. Well, Cole slammed on the brakes. Oh, out number two. Brandon Grover will step in. And the ball game is in his hands at this point. 0 for 2 with a walk. Runners on first and third, two outs. Since going four for four against Hudson, he struggled a little bit. Swing and a miss. Would you send Balowitz? Get in a pickle. If it goes to 0 and 2, I might. Now it's 0 and 2. Well, Ray Velasquez has certainly found his control on the mound. Uh-oh. Blackout. The lights have gone off. Yeah, they're timed lights. Is it 9.30? So the lights are off. They're going to have to turn them back on. 9.15. It's an 0 and 2 count. If Cole Glassburn's going to steal home, he should do it now. <laughs> Unbelievable. So the lights are out here in the bottom of the seventh inning. I didn't touch anything. And everyone has their cell phones out. They're gonna have hey, to. Hey, don't touch me. They're gonna have to try to turn those lights back on. And right now you're seeing cell phone lights on the field as they try to figure out how to get these lights back on. We'll have to take a break. What if that was like in the midst of a pitch? I don't know, the umpire wouldn't see it. <laughs> We're playing in the dark. All right, so uh, with the lights off, I think we're gonna have to take a short break and wait till they come back on. You are tuned in to Ashland Legion Baseball on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. We're in the bottom of the seventh. It's Lowell leading three to two. Continuing on in the bottom of the seventh, the lights are back on. They went out for about 10 minutes or so. Ray Velasquez on the mound. Two outs, two on. And Brandon Grover's down to his last strike. It's an 0 and 2 count. We had some Freddy Cats to part. Well, Cole Glassburn started this inning off with a double. Edgar Velasquez wiped out in center field. And then a block allowed him to go up to third base. Rankatori then walked. It was runners on the corners, no outs. But then a line out by Calabrese to the third baseman and a strikeout by Farrell. Put two outs on the scoreboard. And now Lowell is just one strike away from winning this game and forcing an elimination game tomorrow night in Natick. Both dugouts are on their feet. Somebody's going to be happy, somebody's going to be sad. 
Velasquez from the stretch. Runner taking off from first. And he'll just let him steal. They're going to try to force the throw and send Glassburn. Up high. One and two. Yep. Balowitz is going to get a huge secondary lead just in case there's a base hit here. He'll be able to score. Nobody in it anywhere close to Balowitz. Down low, gets away from the catcher. And he couldn't find it. Glassburn stays put. Who do you think Cole should have went there? No. <laughs> Too slow. You know the deal. I love him, but you know the deal. <laughs> two and two is the count. Well, if you're Ray Velasquez, the last thing you want to do is let this hitter go. Look at how shallow the outfielders are. If Brandon Grover reaches, Jackson Horning do up next. I don't know why they're so sh Well, they go throw a runner out at the plate if Grover hits one through. Swing and a miss, and that is going to do it. Bull post 87 takes the 3-2 to two win, and they're acting like they just won the state championship. We'll have an elimination game tomorrow night in Natick. Tough loss for post 77, but they'll play on. And tomorrow night will make all the difference. The winner of tomorrow night's game advances to the states. The final score for the final time, Lowell defeats Ashland 3-2 to two for Connor Donovan on camera, my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklett. I'm Tom Nappy. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you again tomorrow night. Take care and enjoy the rest of your evening.